Let's understand one more screen flow scenario. In this scenario, we need to create n opportunity records related to account. And the value of n will be provided by the end user. So this scenario basically helps you to understand how to implement loop through decision element when collection variable is missing. So generally, if you implement a loop in screen flow, so we require collection variable. But if collection variable is not there, still you can manage a loop with the help of decision element. So now I'm going to demo this. So I'm going to create new flow, selecting a screen flow. So first of all, I'm going to create a screen, labeling it as get quantity. Now here, I'm just picking a number component. So here, labeling it as how many opportunities you want to create, right? So this way, this label will be available. If you want different label, you can change as per requirement. Then I'm making it as, it as require. Done, right? Now I'm going to create new resource as a variable, naming it as counter. Data type will be number and its default value I'm considering as one. And uh, decimal places are zero. So initially uh, this variable, this counter variable will be having value as one. So basically what I will be doing, I will be uh, testing this counter variable with the uh, this entered value. If counter is less than this value, it means we need to iterate a loop, right? So instead of implementing it through uh, auto layout, I am, okay. So let's first implement auto layout, then I will be uh, converting it into free form. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I am having a decision. So naming it as check counter. So labeling it as require more records. So if counter is less than or equal, how many opportunities you want to create? So uh, this is a variable which will, which will be having user's input. If counter is less than or equal to this, it means uh, this condition will be true and we need to iterate. So I clicked on done, right? So here I'm going to create a screen. So opportunity information and here I need to create the component. So first I'm creating text, name, require, then I need to create a date. So date will be a close date, require, and then I need to have a pick list. So these three fields are required while uh, you, if you want to create any opportunity like name, close date and stage. And uh, in this, I just need to create a pick list choice set. So it's API name I'm taking as stays name. Uh, it is opportunity, data type pick list, then stays name, and done. And done. So this way, one opportunity uh, will be created. So actually, if this condition is true, like require more records, so one opportunity information we need to provide. Now, after receiving this opportunity information, uh, we need to store this information into a record, right? Uh, that will be opportunity record. And that opportunity record we need to add into a list because in Salesforce, you cannot perform DML operations inside loop. Like if I directly uh, use create record here, if I directly use this create record element here, so it will be part of a loop. So we have a governor limit. So uh, we can just have 150 DML statements uh, in a single transaction. So let's suppose user entered 200. 
So, and if I use this create record inside the loop, so your flow will break because the limit is 150. So the solution for this is uh, read information, opportunity information from user, store them into a record, and then add that record into a list. So now I'm going to create two variables. So first one is opportunity record. Its data type is record and object is opportunity. Then uh, I'm clicking on done. So this will be storing one opportunity information. Again, clicking and uh, variable, then opportunity list. Sorry, I need to select record object opportunity. And this time I need to select this checkbox that is allow multiple values. Now I'm clicking on done. So this way I created two variables. You can see them here. So record single variable OPP record and record collection variable that is OPP list. Now clicking on this plus and uh, using assignment. So assign opportunity information to record. So now OPP record dot name equals the name which we receive from the screen, then OPP record dot close date equals to close date, then opportunity record stage equals stage name, right? So this way, uh, these information are mapping. Okay, so one thing uh, we need to do uh, here, like we need to uh, create one more variable as record ID because we need to relate all these opportunities with single account wherever uh, we are uh, like from wherever uh, we are launching this flow. So we need to create this record ID variable. Uh, we created this before in other scenarios as well. So available for input and done. So here, what you need to do, just open it again and uh, uh, opportunity record dot account ID equals and then select record ID. So this way you assigned all the opportunity related information that you received from this screen to the record. Now you need to add this record into the list. So add opportunity record to list. So we have opportunity list, then select add, and then opportunity record, right? And you need to increase the counter by one. So you can just add one here and done, right? Now we need to transfer this control at top. So basically now, uh, if you're implementing uh, your flow through uh, this, a decision element and you are implementing a loop through decision element. So now it is uh, difficult to uh, go to this uh, decision again. So I'm just converting it into uh, this free form layout. So what is happening? Like we have, a, we have this screen, then we have this decision, then we have one more screen, then we have this assignment and the, we have one more assignment. So this way you can see how uh, these are placed. Now, what I need to do, I need to link it here. So this is difficult in uh, auto layout. Like if you implement a loop through decision element, so it is uh, difficult to uh, like create this kind of flow. So flow lines, you can't connect as per uh, your wish. So you can uh, anytime convert your auto layout into free form and then you can uh, manage it. Now, after this, like you can see all the elements are available here. So we need to select create record. So create opportunities. Now, this time I will be selecting multiple because I need to create multiple uh, opportunity records and I'm selecting opportunity list as a argument because it is a record collection and clicking on done. Connecting it here. Right, I'm clicking on save. Right, and clicking on done, activate, moving to account record page, clicking on edit page.
So from here, I'm just removing these existing flows so that we will be having only one flow. So I'm just dragging and dropping flow component and I'm going to select create an opportunity related to account, right? And I'm enabling this checkbox, clicking on save. Moving back. So now I'm going to select a record where opportunity reports are not available. So I'm just opening this. You can see there is no opportunity reports and here is the flow. So this flow will be available on each account record page. So it is asking how many opportunities you want to create. So let's say I provided four. I want to create four opportunities. So I clicked on next. So OPP 201, then uh, let's say close date and prospecting. So clicking on next, then OPP 202, then next, then OPP 203, next, then OPP 204, and next. So this time it won't ask any other opportunity information and uh, related to this account, you can see four opportunities are created. So this way, I hope you understood if we don't have any collection variable, still uh, we can implement a loop with the help of decision element.